Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred spoon. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. I really care about how to spend my precious time. One movie that made an impression on me, it's actually a pretty cheesy movie, plays in the future, it's called In Time. They replaced money with time. They have a timer in their arm here, and in order to stay alive, you have to earn time and not money. So you could say that's a pretty dark concept, but I like the idea because what I did is I set up a timer myself on my phone that reminds me constantly how precious my time is that I should spend it in a valuable way. Where I use this concept is in a business context. In business context, I believe you shouldn't waste any minute. But that's why I really like the idea about being very efficient on meetings. And if you think it's worth to spend your time here with me in that video, I will show you three simple hacks that I use to save hours with meetings. As you know from me, I always separate things in two types of communication. There's asynchronous communication here, like emails, documents, anything you read or write. And there is synchronous communication on this side, talking, listening. The problem is certain things we can do faster and others we can do slower. We know from studies that the words per minute that we read are much higher, so you can read much faster than the words per minute you can type. Typing is way slower. On the other hand, you have the words per minute that you talk, which is higher than the words per minute that you actually can really understand what is being said. So people are basically too lazy to prepare. Then they use the meeting time to talk very fast in order to transport a lot of information. They're very stressed about that. Nobody really understands it. And the poor intern in the end has to write the protocol that nobody is reading. That's the problem I see with meetings. How to fix that? Number one, that's a trick from Amazon. They reserve a certain amount of time before a meeting so that everyone in the room can read the concept that has been prepared. Reading time in the meeting, that makes it much faster for everyone in the room to understand what they're talking about and then decide. Number two, that's a concept from Google. What they do is they leverage their Google Docs and calendar, within every calendar entry, there is the link to the document, it's just attached. So everyone can see before the meeting what the meeting will be about and also comment in the meeting document what they think is the right decision to go. And in many cases, you don't need a meeting anymore. That's why they call it, do we need a meeting for this? Number three, that's a hack that we use. It's from the tech scene, it's called bike shedding. So bike shedding, you can imagine the following way. Assume we are a company that builds nuclear power plants. Very complex thing. And today's agenda, we have two topics. Number one, the new reactor that we need. And number two is the bike shed that we need for the workers that come from the nearby city to commute. And what happens usually in these kinds of meetings is that everyone in the room thinks, oh great, the complicated thing, the, the nuclear reactor, the engineers will handle that, that's fine. You don't want to embarrass yourself asking the wrong questions about that. But the bike shed, that's such a simple topic that everyone has an opinion about it. Should it be red, should it be blue, should it be wood, should it be metal, whatever. Everyone wants to say something and that is bike shedding. Whenever that happens to say, hey guys, this is bike shedding, let's move on. Three simple hacks. I hope I didn't use too much of your precious time. I hope that it will save you many, many hours in the future and that you liked it. If you do so, please subscribe to this channel. There will be more videos like this.